Molly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so we have a breakthrough. All right, with this video, I wanted to apologize, okay? Because a few videos ago, I posted up a video and that day I was really frustrated, okay? Because it's been almost 30 years that I have been reading books, you know, self-help books. And I have been watching videos like The Secret, like I explained before, over and over and over again, okay? And I felt that nothing had changed. And so, you know, for the longest time, I felt like, not it's a waste of time, but they're just not doing the work they're meant to be doing. You know, <laughs> you read a book and you're meant to feel like you're life has changed it's transformed somehow it in some little way not a massive way but some change you know and not feeling like i have up until the last five years ago that i'm on this treadmill that i can't get off you know i'm on there and i'm trying to get ahead you know move forward a little bit you know spiritually i'm not talking about the rest of it you know and so you know or yes i am talking about all of it you know, you know there are times, you know, that you feel stuck in certain areas. Like financially, I've been stuck forever. And it doesn't, it seems like there's a ceiling to it for me. You know, that I can only get so far and then I go back down again, you know. And it wasn't until five years ago, you know, that my daughter was almost a year old. And my husband made a comment, you know, about how I was still looking at my mum like I was five. And that comment sent me into this spiraling, you know, I feel like Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> you know, this whole other world that I just wasn't aware existed in my mind, you know? And from there, some things up until a couple of weeks ago felt like they haven't changed at all, you know, because in terms of the finances, that's still, it's still kind of on a, this, you know, it's kind of stuck. It hasn't kind of moved up, hasn't moved down, but it's kind of like, yeah, you know. So, and I know that's not important. That's not what I'm focusing on. But two weeks ago, I kind of had this one night where I was just going to bed thinking, what is the point of it? I feel like I'm going around in circles and I feel like I've been chasing my tail for the past 30 years. It doesn't matter what I read. It doesn't matter what I watch. It feels, or it felt to me, like nothing has changed and I was wondering that night as I was going to bed and I'm there sitting with my thoughts does it ever change can it ever change you know or do we have patterns set in our subconscious and they're, they're like these tracks that we've been going over over and over and over that we can't change them you know as they're like scars the scars are there they're going to be visible forever you can't erase them. So that was that night. You know, I went to bed thinking, this can't be it. Where I'm at at the moment, I felt, can't be it. And, you know, I really wanted to apologize because I feel in my heart that everything that you read that is trying to teach you about you, everything that you watch, every video that's trying to teach you about you, about yourself, is never wasted, never. Because they're little, to me, they're little seeds that are planted. And one day, when you're ready to wake up, those seeds will sprout. But you have to be ready. Otherwise, they're just words, you know? It's just ink on paper. They're just images on a screen. They don't mean anything until you're ready. So I had a wonderful moment after that. I'd just finished reading Home With God, you know, one of the latest books by Neil Donald Walsh, or one of his last books. I actually don't know when it was published because I kind of stopped reading his books. After, in my early 20s, I read his three conversations with God, book one, two, and three. And then I felt after that, I just got into this pattern in my life you know, where I just let the subconscious run everything, 
you know, these patterns that I'd set in my childhood, they were just running my life. And I was always in these, I just like I said before, I felt like I was chasing my tail. I just wasn't getting anywhere. I was always in the same place, ended up at the same spot every time, you know. After him, after Neil Donald Walsh, I started reading all the Louise Hayes books that I could get my hand on. And she was wonderful. It was wonderful to read. But again, a lot of what I was reading felt like words. Just someone talking these words to me, just ink on paper. It didn't, at the time, it just didn't mean anything. I wasn't ready for it. You know, I was looking for answers, but I just wasn't finding them. And it wasn't until, you know, my husband said that I was looking at my mother like I was five. It wasn't until five years ago that it just all shifted for me. It all changed. And I just felt like I'd walked into another dimension, you know, of what, you know? And that's when I became obsessed with understanding the past and understanding the subconscious. And from what I've learned is how all these videos have come together. Anyway, I've had an awakening in the last two weeks and I really, I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's move on to the next few videos. And now that I've apologized, don't give up. Please don't give up. I am so sorry that I said that in that video. You know, that you can read books and books and books and you can watch videos and videos and, and it won't make any difference. It will when you're ready for it. Because everything gets planted in there. It stays in there. And when you're ready, all these little dots will connect. And suddenly it'll all make sense. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.